This is the prototype for my three-speed automatic transmission. As you can see, it is built out of Legos, and it uses this spinning wheel, as you can see this thing spins, to shift these gears between three states, like that. Now, as you can see, the spinning wheel is geared to the two front wheels, so that when these wheels reach high enough RPMs, it'll spin this wheel extremely fast, and the way that it achieves its motion and shifts the gears is that the centripetal force required to hold these in place, as you can see those things move outward, so the centripetal force to hold it towards the middle, down in place, will be greater than the force of the rubber band, and that will cause these things to spin outward, and that motion will pull the gears forward, like that. And if you look on the bottom, there's the second rubber band thing, which actually pulls these other gears forward. Oh, get a better view from the bottom, actually. So it pulls those two gears down there forward, like this. That motion. See how it's pulling it forward? And that switches between this gear and that gear, the contact between those, to the complete opposite gear ratio of that gear and that gear. And once that happens, it'll be second gear. So once I go like this, it's in second gear. And then this goes further forward into third gear. So that's first gear. second gear, right there, and third gear. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go throw this on the treadmill and I'll show you the changing gears. We are currently in the basement, as you can see the treadmill is right there, but before I throw it on let me explain a few extra things. That white piece, that's connected to what would be the motor input shaft if I had a motor connected, and you can see the three gears connected to that, so that no matter which gear we're in, the motor input is always connected to the transmission. And an important thing to note is that the treadmill is going to be powering the wheels instead of the motor powering the input shaft. So as the gears increase from 1 to 2 to 3, we are going to see the white piece spinning slower. And you can think about it this way, that for if once it starts spinning slower, for every revolution the white piece makes, the wheels are going to spin however more times depending on the gear ratio. So let me go throw this on the treadmill and I'll show you what I mean. And here we go. Start up the treadmill. And we're in first gear right now. And while it's changing gears, take note of the speed of the white piece. So I'm gonna speed it up a little more. Let's watch what happens. Still in first gear. As we go faster, we have just switched into second gear. And we go a little faster. Third gear. Just slow down. Back to second gear and back to first gear. And that's it. Next up is to throw a motor on it and rebuild the whole frame. Because as you can see, it's not very sturdy right now. It's still a prototype. So just fix this up a little bit, make it a little more sturdy. And I'll make another video.